you can get the measure of a car brand by the environment in which its products are built. The narrow, bumpy, hedge-lined lanes of eastern England explain a lot about the way a Lotus goes. The character of a company's chief speaks to the brand's intentions as well. Jean Marc Gales has been portrayed unflatteringly as a Eurocrat bean counter, but his approach has been to strip weight and cost out of the product to the benefit of performance on both track and bottom line, defining brand attributes that Chinese money can hopefully bring to a wider audience. He drives quick, thinks rapidly and acts decisively. You sense he enjoys individuals who do likewise, and the speed with which Autoblog posted the story reporting the new Exige Sport 410 is something he remarked upon in complimenting terms. In spite of the way that it'll never show up on American merchant parcels, Gales made us exceptionally welcome at the industrial facility to drive it. A speedy refresh on where the Exige is at since it was most recently seen on American shores in 2011. Despite the fact that it's as yet based around what's essentially the same expelled and reinforced aluminium tub as each other release and exige of the previous 20 years, it's picked up pounds, barrels and execution to the point where it demonstrates circuit pace that'll have 911 GT3 proprietors watching their mirrors. Since going from a 1.8-litre 4-chamber to the ever inferred 3.5-litre supercharged V6, the Exige has advanced into a legitimate speedster, some path expelled from its dainty roots and punching harder with every emphasis. What's more, there have been a couple. At present you can purchase a Sport 350 or Cup 430 with the uprated, intercooled Ivera motor and 430 drive. This new Sport 410 identified with the last mentioned and profiting by huge numbers of its redesigns however tuned to be more street agreeable. What's more somewhat less expensive. Not at all like the cup, you can likewise have it as a roadster, which, in an extraordinary case of the celebrated internationally include gentility approach, essentially likens to expelling the rooftop board. A test track based on runways that once facilitated US Flying Corps B-24 Liberators is a superior place to welcome the XEG's abilities. The Cup 430's Trap 3-way Nitron dampers may have been dialed back a bit for the 410, however Lotus has a renowned ability for consolidating consistency and level-headedness, and the Exige is as upbeat cornering level and hard as it is gliding over protuberances and knocks. There's a significant 330 pounds of downforce at the 170 miles per hour top speed, each ounce of which is welcome at the butt gripping 120 miles per hour windsock corner into the long back straight.